Hi, welcome to my next video. This time I would like to show you the next part in the series in which I'm painting digitally the images for Docomo Calendar 2021. And this is the second one for February. This is the month that I don't know how to pronounce February, I guess. And here I'm painting a view of the mountainside in Toyama Prefecture with a bit of the city down there below. And this is the first stage, a black and white thumbnail that I painted just to show the people who commissioned this illustration what I would like to do with this piece. Usually I would paint like three of them really quickly just to show my ideas and to give them some choice. But here this scene was actually really simple. I just had one idea how to paint this mountainside. So I did just one thumbnail and sent it out. And when it came back with an OK mark on it, uh, I started to do the color rough. In this stage, I'm painting a bit bigger. I'm using the line work of the thumbnail as a base and try to decide all the details that I want to have in the final illustration and also all the colors that I want to have in the final illustrations. I don't put so much details here, but try to just work the atmosphere of the piece and the lighting, um, the kind of over overall feel of the thing and this is so I know what I'm doing with this piece so it's for myself but also so it's easy to understand for the person who commissioned this illustration. If I have to fix something at this stage I will lose only some of the three hours that I used to make this color rough. Again with this color rough complete and with an ok stamp on it I used it as a base for the final picture. So first I would make this file bigger, almost 6,000 pixels in this case, because this is a file that will be printed big on a like poster-like calendar. And then I started to just add details everywhere. And actually I find that I don't hate this kind of work when I have reference material and a clear image of what I'm aiming for, because I already did uh, the color rough. In cases like this, like painting the mountains in the back or the really detailed city in the foreground, I sometimes can get into this frame of mind which is similar, I don't know, to meditation, I guess. And I don't mind painting millions of millions of little details there and it's actually sometimes hard to stop. So I have to control myself not to paint too small details and just zoom too much when I really get into this. Especially if a picture contains a part that I'm kind of excited about. If I do this mistake and start from it and start adding details and painting it more and more detailed, then I will kind of don't have enough steam to get the rest of the picture to this level. And if this part that I was excited about is in the background, that's even worse because somehow I have to make the foreground now even more interesting and even more detailed than what I already painted. So actually it's probably better to start adding details to the foreground, to the parts that have to be more visible and that have to stand out. But here I kind of got excited about the mountains um, because they looked awesome. I started from them and then I had to deal with the city below also. Of course I'm talking here about painting digitally uh, because when doing stuff with watercolors or even gouache and so on, you have to think about the order of painting things more, which can prevent this detail adding frenzy. Luckily in this painting I aimed for this image of a day with really clear air, really clear skies. So you can see the mountains really sharp in the background. I could add the details to them without being afraid that I will lose the effect, the illusion of distance, because I didn't actually aim for one here in this picture. I wanted the whole thing to be crisp and sharp. Okay, for the whole piece, adding details to the final version took me about nine and a half hours to do. So I'll leave you here for the rest of the painting process and I'll meet you at the end of the video.
Okay, the picture is nearly complete. I actually used a bit of copy and paste magic in this picture to copy some of the textures, but I made sure that it's difficult to spot by modifying the textures and adding some new details on top of them. I had a lot of fun painting all these small buildings in the foreground, trying to make each of them a bit different than the rest, adding some small details and some things there to make the city look alive and real. And when all the details were there, I moved the piece to Photoshop to my computer to add some effect layers, some lighting layers and to modify the colors a bit. And this is how the picture turned out. I like it a lot, I think it's one of my favorite from this series. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. As always, feel free to comment, share and subscribe. And you can also support me on Patreon. It's your support there that allows me to do my private projects and also these YouTube videos. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.